Why are you wearing that now? Because he got warm from all the death. I'm going to get up there before you tense. <laughs> I like how it's the exact same animation between get, the two of you. Yeah. <laughs> I get up there before you. I'm so cold. I like the coloring there. That's cool. Who what? Welcome back to Welcome back to It was clearly another wolf. We're going to Shambhala to get the Chintamanti stone. What's that one song? Chintamanti oh, stone. Shambhala. Shambhala. This is dork. Yes. Why is this so dork? dork. I mean, it probably would be. Yeah. I'm going to get there I before there's you not a crazy in. thing there in the foreground that looks like a rock, but Ooh. it's not. Oh my god. I remember the first time you see that, you're like, what the fuck? But then, I mean, technically it's the second time they tried to pull something like that. Yeah, I know. Well, they had the Nazi zombies. Yeah. Even though I'm pretty sure they weren't Nazis, I'm pretty sure they were the Spaniards, but whatever. Everybody calls them Nazi zombies. That's what kind of set the, like, you know, or like made this interesting and fun, was the fact that it's not just fighting goons the whole time as you get these fucking... Windicos. And even then, like, all right, I don't want to spoil it. You know what? Never mind. Let's just go with the fact that they're Wendigos. Everybody knows they're always Wendigos. Yeah. Speaking of Wendigos, we should watch that Len Kamzinski movie, Wendigo. <laughs> Bless you. Ah, oh, thank you. After we watch Fateful Findings again. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure he was. Uh, I'm pretty sure Neil Breen was making a new movie. Actually, oh, I'm sure he is. I'm pretty sure he was. I remember seeing um, Red Letter Media did a thing recently where they were they did a half in the bag on uh, Comic Con trailers, and at the end they have Rich Evans reacting to a new Neil Breen film, <laughs> a trailer for a new Neil Breen film, and it looks absolutely terrible. But it's almost to the point where. It's hard to tell if Neil Breen finally caught on to the fact that he makes awful movies. So then he's just like purposely making them really bad now. Then it might not be good. So it might not be as good, yeah. Because there's a certain, you know, luster to something that's actually like terrible. Yeah. No, I I agree. That's why that's why it's like, you know, <clears throat> you watch um a film like Samurai Cop and then you watch there's a treasure up there, there's a treasure oh. I don't care. I think there was, anyway. I got a gun. Um, that's why there's, like, a, a certain thing when it comes with, like, you know, Samurai Cop, the original. You have to shoot that. Um, the original Samurai Cop is funny because of the fact that it was made by an inept foreigner. <laughs> and then Samurai Cop 2, they, like, went out of their way to make it ridiculous and stupid and um, terrible. And I think that's why... <laughs> Samurai Cop 2 It's not as good as the first one. Oh, okay. I can't just let him die. Yeah. Well, this is a choice driven narrative yeah, here. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Fucking wrestling moves, this guy. <laughs> Shouldn't have had all that sushi, brother. Oh! <laughs> What a lame scenario! Up, brother? This, this could like this little like, gameplay loop could just keep going on forever if you just set the controller down. <laughs> yeah. I did it! I like how they give you unlimited ammo here too. Oh, 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 my dick. Thank you for the promise to tell me to, uh, to escape. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what to do. Oh, oh. Dude, yeah, he's fucking straight up pulling some fucking Hulk Hogan moves on me, dude. I don't know why, but lately at, at, at work, it's been a thing where we keep calling each other brother. And we keep, like, pantomiming Hulk Hogan. <laughs> so we're all like, it's like, I got you covered, brother. And every time we do it, every time, literally every time, I'm like, oh, I should have had all that sushi, brother. 
<laughs> I say that fucking every fucking time. <laughs> oh, man. My parents met Hulk Hogan in an elevator once. Did they brother him? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it turns out. That'd be funny if this game turned into like a survival game all, like after this part. Yeah, that'd be cool. And that's a Wendigo. I wish those things were real. I wish you were real. I am. I'm it's the, away. I'm the real... <laughs> I've just been... I've been sitting here the whole time making I've, two voices. I've been a hologram this whole time. <clears throat> now to kill Tencent. Shoot him in the back. That's Shoot him the in the pussy. That's what the objective says. <laughs> kill him. Shoot him in the bear. Shoot him in the pussy, pussy bear. <clears throat> in the back pussy. Everybody's got a back pussy. You just gotta find it. I had to roll you in some flour just to find where you were wet. Oh no. So you know what? I actually that you know um, that song on Feel the Steel. Mm -hmm. uh, turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was Corey Taylor on that song. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's uh, M Shadows from Event Sevenfold. Oh. I always thought it was Corey Taylor. Corey Taylor's a very distinct voice. But yeah, he's kind of. I mean, if you listen to that song, you could kind of make the argument that it sounds like him. But it's M Shadows from uh, Event Sevenfold. Sevenfold. Yeah. Who is that? Who's what? M Shadows? Yeah. Is he the singer? Yeah, he's the, is he's he's the songwriter. Lead, no, he's the lead singer of Event Sevenfold. I don't like Event Sevenfold very much. I don't either. I, I never liked them. I think they're boring. I did it. And then you fall. Could you imagine people trying to actually climb this shit in real life? Mm, it'd be very, um... He wouldn't be able to do it. I, I don't think he would be able to do it either. He'd have some fucking strong-ass grip hands. Because you wouldn't take the risk of swinging along a rope and jumping over a precipice like that. Yeah. You would probably try to find some way to, like, slowly maneuver your way over there. Somewhere. And then you skip along like fucking Mary Poppins over here. That'd be funny, like, as you're walking down here, fucking Foreigner starts playing. When it comes crashing down, it's cold as ice. We better set the fire on love. When it comes crashing down, it hurts us so I'm hot bloody. <laughs> you gotta take a stand and head to head. Are you even singing for her? No, what are you fucking singing? <laughs> I'm singing Hulk Hogan's uh, wrestling music. Isn't that, uh... If you hurt my friend, I thought it was the proud to be an American song or whatever. I want to be a man. I can't let it slide. I am a real American. Oh, yeah, that is it, yeah. Fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American. That's a good song. Fight for That's got a good hook, life. man. Fight for your life. Fight for your life. And then he also did that uh, for a while when he was being Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yeah, Hollywood Hogan. Um, yeah. Or not Hollywood, uh, when he was his heel version, he had... Um, that was Hollywood, wasn't he? He was a part of the NWO. He's part of the NWO. I, I don't remember when, Hogan. He, when he was either his heel or his not. I don't remember. I think Hollywood Hogan is when he was his heel because then I specifically remember um, one day, uh, like one, it was like a big turning point that he... Some, like, ch kid fan or child, in, he was, like, in the back dressing room, and then he pulls out the old Hulkamania shirt, and he's like, I wish you were Hulkamania again, and then he's like, wait right here, brother, and then he walks out, and then he gets beat up, and then, like, after that, he went back to Hulkamania. 
or something. So I think Hollywood Hogan is when he was a heel, because he okay. was part because he was part of the New World Order too. So it's like New World Order, and like all right. A bunch so of he was factions or whatever. He was doing um, the fucking Jimi Hendrix song during that. Which one? The I can a side of a, I can hit a man with the side of my hand. Yeah. That little wing by Steve Gormley, Mark Gormley. <laughs> I don't listen to Jim Jimmy John Hendrix. I never like Jimmy Hendrix that much, to be honest with you. Yeah, he. I mean, he's got a you know like the hits are cool. Fire is cool. I don't even like to um, listen to Purple Haze anymore because I just I've heard it too many. And I'm like, eh. <coughs> How prolific can one guy be who like didn't even live past 27? You know, mm-hmm. prolific enough apparently. I, if, but why? I don't. Maybe I just don't get it. But I mean, it's like I don't remember. Like you know, I know people like really like lo- you know praised his uh, guitar playing, but I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, it is. He what it poured is. acid into his head. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yep, that is absolutely true. And then he died. Yep. That yeah, happened. Eh. Remember when I super cheesed that one in uh, Uncharted Three, the the one like uh, uh, Clock Tower. <laughs> oh, that was in Four. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Well, this is our quest to play every Uncharted game on on Chinstrap Chap, so we have yet to play Three. Three, I actually like relatively recently played like the opening of that game again and it's so boring yeah <laughs> I remember when I first played it like I was in it what are you fucking doing I'm trying to get up but it won't let me it keeps making me fucking jump around then go to that go that way it's like always in your effort to go fast you end up fucking it up and going slower or like in number four Yes, I went did, fast. You did cheese that, but you... I like, cheesed it multiple times. Maybe you can't cheese this one as much. Yeah, you can't. I clearly have been trying, and you just can't. Um, this this game doesn't allow you to cheese. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I was obviously like a really big fan of these games when I was younger, but I, I think I've kind of just accepted that they kind of have some, some flaws in them. Yeah. I don't like these climbing sections. I think they suck. I don't... I think they were never fun. I think it would have been... What? What? Oh, I almost got it. <laughs> he, like, walked on air for a second. What? What was that? I'm trying to get that. No, I know, but you, like, fucking... You just did it again. <laughs> Damn it. What are you doing? I wanted to try and... <laughs> I wanted to try and oh, grab that gear and cheese everything. Dead, dude. Okay. Which one? That one. But that. I'm not going to be able to make it when if, if I can't. That walking off the edge and then jumping immediately allows me to get a fucking boost. God damn it. Um, I think it would have been cool if they did like a... Uh, I think it would have been nifty if they did something like... Um, so like you remember like in Uncharted 4... Um, <laughs> That you're like you, you're you, you're on the boat and mm-hmm. then you can like go around to different islands and and check them out. I think that would have been cool if the game was kind of more centered around that, like actual exploration, rather than being this. You know. Yeah. Because because like realistically, like I, I understand like what they're going for with these games that it's supposed to be like a summer blockbuster type um, adventure. Like, I get that. Like, it's definitely, like, you know, in the vein of an Indiana Jones... That was not the way I was pointing. Um, ...type deal, but... Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, the name of the game is Uncharted. Like, how cool would it be if, like, you were actually in, like, a more... Like, in a more open area, um, exploring to try and find these ruins, you know, and then, like, solving the puzzles within them. And then, like, of course, like, you know, there's enemies around and shit, but... Yeah. I mean, it would be a totally different game, I get that, but, like, I think it would be interesting enough that like you know or at least there'd be more to it than there's there's do jumping yeah there's because like in this there's primarily two for the most part two modes of gameplay and it's either you're shooting shit or you're climbing shit that's pretty much it 
Um, there is the puzzles, of course, too, but for the like, those only take up a small portion of the game in comparison to the shooting and the climbing. So I don't know. I it, I think it would have been cool if they had <laughs> some more depth <laughs> to the game if they had it where like maybe you're in a more open area, kind of like what they had in number four, where you're like in the jeep driving around or you're in the yeah. boat, you know. I think that would have been more interesting. I think, I want to say that the Lost Legacy, the DLC that they had for Uncharted 4, kind of has that. I think that's what I've heard. I, I haven't played it, but um, that would have been kind of that would have been kind of neat, in my opinion, to kind of have some more exploration-focused uh, gameplay as opposed to... What did I hit? Jumping and shooting and dying. Uh, there's a rope. That was Amy. Right, well, next time I chin snap chat, Billy's gonna get this shit figured out. We're gonna out. get this shit figured out.